I think this is a great follow-up question to what we were just talking about. Do you think the 4060 Ti is the worst mid-range GPU in the history of PCIe GPUs? Are you surprised by how terrible it is? That's a pretty harsh question. Mm. I'm not familiar with the entire PCIe yeah, it's hard generation. To You're going back a long time. It's hard to recall everything. It's certainly the wor by far the worst that I can recall. Uh, whether it's the absolute worst, I'm not sure. Uh, people will be quick to like point out the 6500 XT, which unbelievably garbage product that I destroyed in my review um, and most people agreed with. That product is technically a much worse product. It was released in a, a completely different market. Still absolutely garbage product, in my opinion, should have never existed. But that's an entry-level product anyway. Um, so, Yeah, I think it's, you know, if we're talking about the worst ever that would be up there. Like you, yeah. if you're making a short list of candidates, 6500 XT easily makes the That's short the list. worst GPU I can remember reviewing. I mean, obviously there's been really bad things like the DDR4 GT1030, but they... Yeah, there's been some deceptive releases yeah. for sure over yeah. the years. Um, yeah, some not great practices. And there's been some... Yeah, there's definitely been as well products from brands that are not necessarily like technically bad, but have been very underwhelming for various yeah, reasons, the, like price or whatever. The worst is like, it's it's hard to pin that down because the 6500 XT was the worst for those sort of you know, reasons, four gigabyte of VRAM, um, four PCIe lanes, no hardware encoding engine, uh, two display port outputs. <laughs> it really was bad. It was, it really a, was the bad. biggest piece of crap. It was like, was it $300? It sounds absurd saying that out was loud. Was it really 300 No. I think it was. No. Check, check. I think was it, it two hundred dollars? I w no. I, there's no way it was. There's check, no check the way. MSRP. I don't know. I, for some reason, I'm thinking it was three hundred dollars. Two hours later. Okay, so I checked. Sixty five hundred XT at a two hundred dollar MSRP, but during the pandemic, it did sell for two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars at the start. There, so that's I think what we were sort of getting confused. I remember. Over. I remember seeing them for sale for three hundred dollars, and I was yeah, just, and that, that's wow. just a little, nowadays. I believe they're like one hundred and sixty, one hundred and fifty dollars, which is still yeah, that should be like hundred dollars. Yeah, so you know, that product, I think, from a technical perspective and a pricing perspective, was very bad. Mm -hmm. I think the GeForce product, you know, it's probably on it, like it too has technical issues. The 8 gig GPU, you know, 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not sufficient. The memory bus also causes lesser performance than the 3060 Ti in some scenarios. So it doesn't have as many problems. It doesn't have PCI issues. Well, its problem is the price, issues. really. The, the VRAM is not even a problem. Um, if it was two hundred dollars, it'd yes. be fantastic. If it was half price, funnily enough, it'd be fantastic. Uh, if it was the thirty, if it was a forty fifty priced at even two hundred and fifty dollars, it'd be like two fifty would be yeah. a great product. Yeah. Um, so I think I think based on this sort of to be. yeah, I think based on this quick discussion and sort of going through our thoughts now, surely the sixty five hundred XT is worse. But that's an entry level card. As if, if we're yeah. talking more mid range cards, then. This has certainly been... It's the worst mid-range card for... As far as back as yeah. I can remember. I think overall, I'd probably give the 6500 XT the overall... Like, just the technical problems make it... But then, if you, but then again, what's the criteria? Because the absolute worst, most disgusting thing I've looked at was the DDR4 GT1030. That was bad. Like the, GT, bad. The, the 1030 is already not a good product that you probably shouldn't buy. But we know, you know, people at the lower end of the market and pre-builts and stuff, they're getting something for their kids to play, you know, Fortnite or something like that. It can do that if it's got, you know, the appropriate memory. But using DDR4 memory made that card completely unusable and they just quietly released that with... Okay, what, what about this system? The worst price GPU is probably the 4060 Ti. It needs a big price reduction mm -hmm. to be competitive. Mm -hmm. The 6500 XT is probably technically the worst GPU in terms of technical hardware. Mm -hmm. And I think the GT1030 DDR4 is the most deceptive product mm -hmm. because the whole goal of that product, as you say, was to ruin people's OEM systems. So I think with those three, you've sort of got covering different bases there. And then, yeah, you can argue as to overall which is the worst. The memory for that product must have been so affordable as well. NVIDIA yeah. really just does not mind rolling gamers to save a few pennies on memory, do they? It's like yeah. their thing. It's like their MO at this point. It's yeah. crazy.